this valentine's day i am making a death by chocolate cake which is going to have four layers of eggless chocolate sponge we'll make a salted caramel chocolate ganache to go with it and a chocolate drip on top coming down to the sides my oven is preheating at 180 degrees celsius and i prepared two six inch pans which are ready to go but before we get started let me tell you that since it's valentine season and i love you guys so much I'll be giving away a Borosil Pro oven to one of you watching this so make sure you watch till the end. And now for the chocolate sponge we'll start by making a buttermilk, 1 cup of milk and 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of white vinegar. Lemon juice does the job as well so you can also use that. So I can see my milk splitting a little and this is exactly what we are looking for. I am going to let it sit on the counter and meanwhile in a separate bowl start combining super fine sugar and vegetable oil using my borosil hand mixer. I've been using it for a few months now and it's hands down one of the best hand mixers I've used ever since I started baking. I absolutely love how easily I can control the speeds from 1 to 5. This looks good now into this I'm going to add the buttermilk that we made earlier and mix it in as well. This is ready I am now going to sift in some flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and some baking soda now this may look like a lot of cocoa powder but since we're making a death by chocolate cake this is what is going to make our chocolate sponge super intense and chocolatey and now using my spatula i'm going to give this one final mix i love this recipe because it's eggless and you're still not using any condensed milk or dahi only using the buttermilk we're going to achieve a super soft texture My batter is ready. I am now going to divide this between two six-inch pans that I prepared earlier. If you want, you could also make this in a single eight-inch pan. My cakes are ready for the oven. I'll bake them at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes. I love how my oven doesn't occupy so much space in my kitchen. It's super compact and yet delivers what is expected from a good oven and more. The temperature control and the mechanical timer make it such a delight to understand and use. And while the cakes are baking, let's get the work started on our frosting. Now this cake tastes amazing with absolutely any frosting, but I'm making a salted caramel chocolate ganache today for which the first thing that I need is a cup of super fine sugar. I am going to spread it out into a pan set over medium heat and let it caramelize. My sugar is caramelized and become golden in color. I am now going to cube some salted butter and add it in. If you want, you could use unsalted butter, but make sure you add in a pinch of salt. We let this cook for a couple of minutes so that the butter gets nicely incorporated with the caramelized sugar. And next up is one and a half cups of fresh cream that I've heated in my microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. Make sure you're not using cold cream here because that will seize your caramel. While this cooks and bubbles for a couple of more minutes, I'm going to take a cup of milk chocolate in a bowl. And once the caramel is ready, pour the hot caramel over the chocolate. Let it sit for a couple of seconds, and then mix it all together. You'll see that the chocolate melts from the heat of the caramel, and we get a super smooth and silky salted caramel chocolate ganache. At this stage, your ganache is going to be slightly runny, but what you need to do is to put it in the fridge for about four to five hours, so it sets and becomes nice and thick like this. Meanwhile my cakes have also baked completely and I've divided each layer into two and I'm now going to start assembling my cake. I'm going to brush each layer of this chocolate sponge with a coffee syrup the recipe for which is going to be in the description box below.
another element that I'm going to add is the chocolate drip that I've made by combining one fourth cup of dark chocolate with one fourth cup of warm fresh cream. I can't get over how rich and delicious this death pie chocolate cake is and I can't wait for you guys to try this out in your kitchen and share pictures by tagging me on Instagram at shivesh17. Also don't forget to check out all the details for the giveaway in the caption, participate in the contest and stand a chance to win a Borosil Pro 30 liter oven. I'll be running this contest on both Instagram and YouTube so make sure you check out and participate on both the platforms to increase your chances of winning. I'll see you guys next week with a new recipe. Until then, happy baking.